all right so what is going on guys alex7 here and here's 10 features that were both in td1 and td2 that have yet to been in any other open world racer now the funny thing is guys i've already done a video on 10 features so basically here's 10 more features but if you haven't already watched my previous video i highly recommend you guys go ahead and check it out now and then come back to this video or you can check it out after so without further ado let's get straight into the video with one of the most important features that also needs to be in test drive solo crown and that is right here photo mode now, yes, you had the ability to frame your own pictures within your own house. All you had to do was take a picture of your car, which you guys can see me doing right there. And then all you had to do next was go to TDU house, go to your house, click on the picture frame and modify the photo to any one of the pictures you've taken. This alone made your house so unique because when you invited your friends over, which also is another feature that I did not include in this video, but when you had this, you can just show off your own pictures to your friends. Now, all Tesla Solar Crown needs is a better photo mode. Next. Every Every single car had different speedometers. Now, if you did not know, every single car had different speedometers and it included stuff like this from the McLaren to the Lamborghini to the Alfa Romeo, etc. etc. It made TD just feel special, you know. Now, I do understand that games like Need for Speed Shift and all that had it. However, guys, keep in mind we're talking about open world races here. So, with that being said, no other game has implemented this as an open world racer, and I cannot wait to see what Tesla Solo Crown holds for us. Now, for number three, a one to one map size of Ibiza and Oahu, which which by the way, they match 90% of the roads, guys. If you go on Google Maps right now or Google Earth, you will find the airport is in the right location. Most of the roads are in the right location, which is pretty crazy to say the least, guys. And don't forget, we already know we're going to be getting a one-to-one -one map size of the next island of Test Drive Solar Crown. We just don't know where yet. But without further ado, let's go on to number four, which was actual tuna shops. Yes, guys, you had the ability to drive to an actual tuna shop that included cutscenes as well. So you go here, upgrade your car, and as you guys can see it looked pretty nice i mean detailed interior as well but all you have to do was upgrade your car leave the tuna shop it had the animations and all of it all the noises in the background i'm telling you test drive solo crown guys is going to be pretty nice and i cannot wait to see what they have in store for us now keep in mind test drive another one also had this same concept so i would pretty much be thinking that we'd be seeing the same thing in test drive solo crown now the next one is co-op driving this was one of the best features of tdu2 online and in fact i might even take my word back on that as you guys are gonna see later on in the video but this alone you're able to get in the car with your friend and i do hope in touch that solo crown they not only add this feature back but give us the ability to add more than one friend depending on how many seats are in the vehicle so for example the koenigsegg jamera it'd be cool if you can have three friends in your car compared to just one and i cannot wait to see how they're gonna go ahead and do that next feature in at number six is an actual paint shop so again if you guys did not know an actual paint shop was in test drive unlimited two as well as test drive unlimited one however i love the feature features of TDU1 better because guys look at this. This animation alone is one of my, I really do hope they go back to this style of animation in Tesla Solo Crown simply because it was a lot more realistic than it was in TDU2. I mean with the whole paint shop and how they implemented it, I definitely would rather this feature compared to TDU2's. But let's move on to the next one. Now the next one is actually going to jail. Now huge shout out to the guy who I took this video from. I'll leave his channel link down in the description below. But anyways, if you did not have money to pay for your ticket, you were put in jail for 30 seconds seconds in test drive unlimited one this was not a feature in td2 but i would love to see this feature come back in test drive unlimited solar crown guys <laughs> because i mean this is just realism in fact i didn't even know this was a feature until someone pointed it out to me in one of my live streams so i really do hope they implement something similar to this in the next test drive game let's move on to the next feature at number eight guys td2 casino this was single-handedly the best game feature since button remapping td2 casino was insane i mean you had blackjack you had slot machines you had poker and it gave you a ton of new options when it came to earning money and trust me you could earn a lot of money from the casino especially when you're playing poker and winning easily so the td2 casino online again one of the best features and i really do hope that td world can bring the casino back online for us to go ahead and play because then td2 online would be unstoppable guys let's move on to feature number nine and that would be dealership spec options so again you if you did not know not only could you spec your car's paint you could spec your car's rims with oem options so all these are oem options compared to the real life vehicle the mp412c even the paint colors matched i mean volcano orange volcano red that is something that you don't really see in many other games even the interior was able to be spec'd out just like the real world so something like this i really hope they can add as a feature into test drive solo crown again but guys there are so many features that test drive has actually done that no other game has implemented and i'm sure you guys will comment down more that i've missed in this video let's move on to the last 
feature and that would be the adjustable seat position in test drive limited one now td2 did not have this but it'd be brilliant if they could add this into test drive unlimited solar crown but guys this feature again not that many open world racers have this feature in fact i don't think any others but i'm sure you guys will correct me down in the description below if i actually made a mistake in this video but other than that guys if you did enjoy leave a like down below and subscribe for more test drive content and do comment down anything that i've missed because i'm sure there's plenty of more features that test drive unlimited one and two had that no other games have yet to implement so other than that i'm alex 7 animal guys peace